Hi friends. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about metacarpals of hand present in the upper limb. Without any delay, let's start this video. Metacarpals. As you see in the image, the bones which are indicated in the blue color are the metacarpals present in our hand. And metacarpals are short in length and these are long type of bones. Each hand consists of five metacarpals. And for our convenient studies and to make it easy, these are numbered one to five from radial to ulnar side or from lateral to medial side. Now let us discuss about the parts of metacarpals. Each metacarpal have three parts. Those are head, shaft and the base. Coming to the image here we are seeing this is the lateral side and this is the medial side so that the metacarpals are named 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in a sequence. Coming to each metacarpal, this is the head of metacarpal, this is the body or shaft and this is the base of metacarpal. Coming to, let us discuss in detail about each of them. First let us discuss about head of metacarpal. Head of metacarpal is located at the distal end and these are rounded as you see in the image. Now let us discuss about shaft of metacarpal. This extends between head and the base. These are concave on the palma surface and on both sides. The dorsal surface has a triangular area in distal part of the shaft. Now coming to the last one that's base of metacarpal. It is located at the proximal end and expanded. Out of all metacarpals in present in hand, the first one or the radial metacarpal has some peculiarities. Now let us discuss each of them. The radial metacarpal is the shortest of all and it is the stowest bone. This rotates medially through 90 degrees so that the dorsal surface faces laterally. And the base has saddle shaped articular surface to articulate with the trapezium carpal bone. This is the saddle shaped base of first metacarpal and the head is less convex and broader than, broader than other metacarpals and the base does not articulate with other metacarpals so that it gives a free movement to the first metacarpal. The sesamoid bones glide on the radial and ulnar corners of head and produces impressions. Coming to the ossification of metacarpals. Each metacarpal ossifies by the two centers, one primary center for the shaft and the secondary center for the head. The secondary center for the radial or first metacarpal is present at the base because the epiphysis of first metacarpal is present at proximal end which is different from other metacarpals which have epiphysis at the distal ends. Coming to the timeline, the first primary center for the shaft appears at the ninth week of intrauterine life and there is no particular time period for the fusion. Coming to the secondary center for the head of second, third, fourth and fifth metacarpals, they appear at the time of two years of age and they get fused at the 16 years of age. And for the especially for the radial metacarpal, the time of appearance is two years and gets fused at the age of 18 years. Now coming to Clinical aspects of metacarpals. First one is the Bennett's fracture in which it is an oblique fracture of base of the first metacarpal or radial metacarpal and it is intraauricular fracture and may be associated with subluxation or dislocation of the metacarpal. And coming to the last one that is box, boxer's fracture in which it is the fracture of neck of the metacarpal and it mostly commonly involves neck of the fifth metacarpal. Here as we see in the image when you punch an object with a closely closed fist your fourth or fifth metacarpal bone takes the force of this impact and breaks at its neck. This is called boxer's fracture. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Let us meet in the next video and Please subscribe my channel. Khatam. Bye bye. Tata. Goodbye.